With the increased rate of street children, abandoned children, children on the street hawking and selling, you will agree with me that family planning should be part of health education given wherever women, men are gathered so we can save the future of our nation and also future of the world at large. Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference and I make learning easy and accessible for students. Today we are going to be talking about family planning. What have you heard about family planning? What are the various types of family planning? So by the end of this class, you will be able to answer all these questions correctly. But before we go into details, if you are new on our YouTube channel, please, please click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button, so you don't miss out in any of our video. Let's go there. Welcome back. Like Elia said, today we are going to be talking about family planning. Looking at the streets, especially the streets of Lagos and also our local communities, let's go into that. You see that there are a lot of street kids, there are a lot of children hawking, there are a lot of children selling, there are a lot of children that are also being abandoned, there are a lot of children that are being deposited in the orphanage home because the parents are not there to care for. So that is why family planning, knowledge of family planning should not be hidden but should be shared in our community but should be shared during a um, gathering where men, where women are so they know the importance, the various types and the benefits of family planning. Do we get? So if family planning is inculcated into our normal um, health education talk daily, it is going to go a long way to help reduce the number of unkept children on our streets and in our community. So what is family planning? Family planning services are the ability what and what are the ability of an individual and couple to anticipate. It is what it is the ability of an individual and couple to anticipate. Oh this is what I want. Anticipate what you want to anticipate what the desired number of children the spacing and timing of their beds the desired number of children the spacing and their timing of their beds i will go over it again family planning services are services as services that have the ability that has the ability to anticipate individuals and couples to anticipate the number of children their spacing and their timing. When couples come together, they are able to determine, oh, after two years we'll give birth, after one year we'll give birth, let's just start giving birth now. When we give birth to the first child, after two years we'll give birth to another, after two years. So you determine the spacing, you determine the number of children you are going to have. So whenever you hear family planning, the next thing that should be on your mind is contraceptive, which we are going to be talking about today. There's something I would like to let you know. Taking care of the children is not just about, um, sorry, having a father or being a mother, I mean, it's more than giving birth. Being a father, being a mother is more than sexual intercourse. It is more than ovulation. It is more than ejaculating. There is something called financial. There is something called spiritual. There is something called emotional. There is something called psychological. There is something called social need of a child. So these are the things we have to consider before giving birth to the normal to the number of children we want. If you give birth to two, fine. Definitely you are able to take care of their needs. Spiritual, financially, psychological, emotionally, and otherwise. But when you give birth to too many, you are giving birth to 10, 20, can you take care of those needs of a child? The needs of a child is just more than financial aspect. For those that are very aware, we're talking about the psychological needs of a child. So that is why family planning is very, very important. It will help couples to determine the number of children they are able to cater for and the spacing for these children. You might be wondering, what are the various types of family planning? 
definitely this video is going to tell you so you know the number to pick from so the first one i have here is a traditional method the what the traditional method of family planning under the traditional method of family planning we have various types the first one i have here is lactational amenorrheal method it's just a big name lactation are simply mean breastfeeding amenorrhea simply mean no measures so for those women mothers that are practicing six months exclusive breastfeeding during this period ovulation had uh, ovulation most times does not occur for them to start a, a for them to give birth so breastfeeding is one of the natural family planning outside the fact that giving your child exclusive breast milk make, make this uh, exclusive breast milk make this child healthy make this child look good the other benefit of exclusive breastfeeding is that it is also an other method of what family planning then the other i have here is abstinence uh, abstinence yes if you are not ready to give birth to children you are not married the best thing is abstinence abstain from sex abstinence is like the surest way <laughs> when you abstain there's nothing going to happen so abstinence it's like it's the surest way of family planning it's a doper way of family planning because when you abstain how do you believe when they come you know possible so abstinence is a traditional method of family planning they will also have fertility awareness method that's whenever a woman is fertile there are some changes that take place in the human body that makes her know oh i feel i'm in my ovulation period you get the first is safe period for those that have watched our video on how to calculate our safe period that will go a long way to help you know know your fertile period avoid sex and that will serve as what family planning then the other is temperature chart most times as me myself when i'm on my ovulation period my temperature is on the high side i usually have high body temperature and that is already a signal oh messy after checking my calendar and everything that tells me oh messy you are on your ovulation period there's there are changes going on in your body don't forget these are the traditional method of what family planning the first under traditional family method we have what lactational amenorrhea method we have abstinence we have fertility awareness method that has the changes that occur in your body as a woman that tell you that oh you are on your ovulation period for example safe period mucus and temperature chart during your ovulation period also there is mucus um, secretions coming out from the vagina some white discharge might be slippery yeah you know that you are on your ovulation period then let's go to the modern method of family planning the first one i have here is the barrier method as the name implies barrier something is obstructing the sperm from going inside something is saying sperm you are not going to enter inside today so the first one and the most common one is condoms we have both the male and the female condoms this actually prevents the sperm from going into the woman's body properly to fertilize the what the eggs that have been released during ovulation then another barrier method are spermicides i will go with spermicide and cervical cap spermicides are liquids chemicals they have been um take there you put that chemicals in deep into the woman's vagina what this spermicide does is that it uh, it prevents sperm from going into the the cervix and the uterus to get fertilized and it also makes the sperm weak so that they will be able to swim properly joyfully to the eggs to get fertilized and most times these spermicides are used alongside with cervical cap so the cervical cap is showing on the screen now you can see the cervical cap they actually prevent um, the air uh, the sperm from entering or getting as sex into the human body properly for fertilization then um same uh, function as that of the diaphragm you can see the diagram of the diaphragm showing on the screen it prevents the um the sperm from going into the cervix and it prevents the sperm from going to the human body <laughs> then also we have combined oral contraceptive as the name implied combined oral contraceptive it simply means two hormones are coming together to ensure that oh um, this person is not getting pregnant that is the estrogen and the progesterone so they are taking orally when you take these drugs orally they go into the body they go into the body to prevent um, ovulation they go into the body to prevent pregnancy bam 
Then the other one I have is progestin only method. That means you know that first one was both progest uh, progesterone and um, estrogen. But this one is just progesterone. That's why it's progestin only contraceptive. Another that we have progestin only oral contraceptive. You take it orally. You take it what? You take it orally. What this progestin does is that it's funny. It makes the body feel that oh, the, the the uterus is pregnant and the uterus is carrying a baby. So when the body now feels that the uterus is carrying a baby, they're like, oh, no need, no need to release this. Yeah, you get what I'm trying to say. No need to release. Uh, no need for ovulation to take place. No need for egg to be released. So the body is not like after all. The uterus is pregnant so that's what that progestin actually does when you take that contraceptive then we have injectables injectables are given it could be two monthly at uh, that's every two two months or every three three months depending on the type you are taking these injectables and other contraceptive will be dealing with them one after the other daily so you understand the various types of contraceptive their side effects why you should use them and why you should not use them that's the injectables. Then the implants. They are, the implants, you know, match stick. They are small like that. They are being placed on this palm. On this, uh, what do you call this thing again? Tell me, I forgot to drop it in the comment section. So they are being um, in place. The implants are being placed on your hand. So that pregnancy um, will not happen. Then the other I have is intrauterine copper device. Intrauterine copper device, IUCD. You know, normally most of these um, oral contraceptive and the others, what they do is that they reduce and uh, they release progesterone, which makes the body feel that the uterus is pregnant. What IUD does that instead of it to release progesterone, it starts releasing copper, and this copper affects the mucus secretion. And when the mucus secretion is affected, definitely the sperm will not be able to swim dreadfully to the egg. That's for IUCD. Then the other one that people are running away from is the permanent method of contraceptive. All right, the permanent method of contraceptive, we have um, um, the female sterilization, yeah. Female sterilization and um, they call it vasectomy, yes. And that female sterilization can also be seen as a female bilateral tuba, to bilateral tuba ligation, in which um, is a permanent method of contraceptive. It's actually carried out by those that have given birth to the desired number of children. They don't want children again. They just want everything to close. They don't have time to be going to the hospital every time for injections. They don't have time to be going to hospital for IUCD because IUCD can stay over three years. And the impl yeah, implants can stay over three years. IUCD, yes, they can. So they don't have time to be doing that. So what they just normally do, they just want the permanent method of contraceptive. So they can actually use the... Um, the vasectomy or the female sterilization. So in our first upcoming video, we will be talking about the importance and uh, the reasons why a particular contraceptive should be used. Then also we'll be dealing with the various contraceptive one after the other. All right, thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching our wonderful video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. Like I uh, will always send as a reminder for those that have not joined our telegram class and you are a nursing student, you are missing a lot. There's a lot to gain from our class. I wonder why you have not uh, joined our classes. For those that have not joined, can you send a message to the WhatsApp number showing on your screen? Thank you very much and do have a wonderful day ahead. See you in our next video. Bye.